Well, we've got a fish, not the target species at all. Whoa! I've just had a couple of little taps. Okay, let's get it in the net. Yes, first fish! Well, unfortunately, my lure has broken. Hi folks and welcome back to the River Foss Fishing YouTube channel. Today I'm out bright and early heading down to one of my favourite little streams where we're going to be trying for some brown trout. We're going to be going after them on the lures, this is one of my favourite methods for them. So I've got about a 15 minute drive ahead of me and then I've got to unload my car and gear up so we'll see you again when we're down on the bank. I just pulled in and had a quick look at the, the little stream and it looks pretty good. It's very, very clear, really clear. So um, we're going to give it a crack anyway. I'm just debating whether to fish upstream or downstream, however. Upstream looks very, very shallow, but obviously there might be some, some deeper pools further up. I'm going to put my waders on, have a little think about it and then decide. Um, I have a lot more, more river to roam if I go upstream. Um, so that might be, that might make the decision for me really. This is pretty tricky access. Hey, there we go. Well, all the weeds are coming up and it is making it a little bit trickier because the lures are just bumping across the top of the weeds. But, um, I guess if there's any time to keep fishing it, it's now just before they come up. Well, I've just seen my first fish, but unfortunately it was a tiny shoal of minnow or something like that. Not catchable with the gear we've got. I'm going to keep moving up. I really like the character of this stream, but um, unfortunately upstream there are fewer deep pools than I was hoping for. So I've not had that much opportunity to actually cast out and see if I can catch anything, if I'm honest. I'm going to keep heading up for a little bit more and just see what's around a few more bends. If not, I'm going to head all the way back down and then go to a different spot. Right, looking at the map, I'm about there. I uh, know, up at that one. So probably halfway around that stretch. I think I'm probably going to head back because it's not as um, trouty as I hoped and I'm going to fish one of the lower stretches instead. So I'm just going to trot back along the bank, I don't think I'll bother fishing back. And then we'll move down probably, probably the other side of the main road. day. The sun is just coming out a little bit and it's getting a bit warmer which is really nice. The forecast is not great for later with quite a bit of wind but I still got a few hours of really good fishing time and in this woodland is absolutely beautiful. There's so many really nice deep pools and slacks that I can fish and then it runs onto some faster water as well so it all looks brilliant for a trout. The problem is it's going to be kind of finding some but hopefully they hold up in the deeper pools so at least it gives me a bit of an idea of where to look for first. There's an absolutely fantastic looking pool just behind me and I really thought it was going to give us the trout we needed but I fished it for a good 20 minutes, switch lures, absolutely nothing is interested there. I may fish it with a worm on the way back, 
I'm not sure yet, but I really thought that was going to do it. Anyway, we'll keep heading upstream and hopefully get into some fish soon. now but this one has particularly caught my attention being complete it's a horse tibia from the right side the right leg and it's absolutely enormous this was a very large horse no idea how it got here but there you go a horse tibia well this is turning into a little bit of a zoology lesson but we had the tibia just up the bank there and I've come a little way down and we now have a horse femur and we have a horse metatarsal and there's another piece of horse tibia there as well. And a few other odds and ends, which I'm not really 100% sure what some of them are. They're just random fragments. But anyway, there's most of the back legs of a horse down here. Um, I haven't found any <laughs> the rest of the horse, but maybe we'll find him a little bit downstream. Anyway, there we go. Well, the last bone-based interruption, I promise, then we'll get on to some fishing again. But we've got here a really cool one. This is a pig mandible, a pig jaw. And you can see the really big tusk there, the canine tooth. So there we go. Right, let's get on with some fishing. <laughs> well, we've got a fish, not the target species at all. Going up. Whoa, 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 steady. A dace, a good dace. Really nice dace, out of season, he's going straight back. I'm fishing worm, which is a valid method for trout, but unfortunately it's not as discriminate as lures are, so I might have to switch back to lures if I keep catching other coarse fish, not the target species basically, because uh, it is out of season and I don't want to disturb the fish unduly. Um, it's just the trout were not taking any of my lures, so I was only really using the worms as sort of a last resort, just to see if they would work. Well, we're in again. I don't think that's a trout, I think it's another dace possibly. Yeah, it is. Whoa, check out that for a dace. Out of season, but that is a smashing fish. Absolutely incredible, that. Right, we're going to get this guy back. Well, two dace there, which is an unfortunate byproduct of fishing worm, really. I was fishing a big hook, a size 10, with a big chunk of worm on to try and get away from catching anything like that. But obviously those dace were absolutely cracking. They were proper, proper size dace, you know? So unfortunately they were able to take those baits. I'm definitely coming back in June to have a crack for those because fish like that are absolutely brilliant. Um, I'm going to move on and leave these dace alone because there's obviously a few there and see if I can find some trout, the target species. That is really what I want to catch, trout. So we'll stick with the worms for now because the trout were not interested in the lures at all. So I'm going to move downstream again. We're in. No, another dace. Where is it? Yes, it is. Check out that for a dace. Amazing. Oh, come on. Incredible fish. Out of season, he's going back.
another day. What is going on? Oh, another day. Just need to uh, get this hook out. There we go. Another day. We're going to release this guy back upstream, I think. Off you go, buddy. Well, it's now a few days later and I've come back out. Unfortunately, I didn't catch anything in the last session you've just seen. I've actually come to a different spot, a different river. So hopefully this will produce a trout. The weather is a little bit all over the place today. At the moment, it is absolutely bright, intense sunshine. But I know we've got some showers and even a bit of hail and strong wind forecast. The weather is always rubbish when I come to this river. I don't know why. It's always so windy. Anyway, we're going to do a bit of lure fishing, see if we can find some trout. I absolutely love this river as well, so I'm going to get on with that. Well, we've got a fish on. Yes, first fish. That was a good take. Had a couple of little bumps and then he slammed it. Ooh, let's get this guy unhooked. And there it is, an absolutely pristine brown trout there. Amazing colours. Absolutely amazing fish, these. I love catching them, which is why there's been so many trout videos lately. Anyway, we're going to get this guy back in the water for a bit of a rest and then we'll slip him back. Well, we're into our first trout and it didn't take very long at all. A couple of swim changes and, you know, a few casts, a couple of bumps, and I felt it, you know, hitting the lure and then managed to strike and hook into it and land it, which is absolutely brilliant. It's not an enormous one, but every trout counts when you're out doing this kind of fishing. Well, unfortunately, my lure has broken. So we've lost the, like, the plastic bit off the front, so it doesn't have a diving action anymore. So I'm going to have to swap to something else. Uh, but what is the thing? Sinking, so we don't want that. Maybe a crayfish. Let's fish this and see what this does. I like that other lure I was using, Holographic Bleak. Because um, it looks absolutely like a little bait fish that probably the trout are feeding on down here. So um, we'll see if... Oops, Let's see if this one brings us anything. Come on, there we go. Right. Oh, these little snaps, little swivels are so hard. Brilliant. Okay, we're done. wind is always really strong every time I come fishing down here which does make it a little tricky but we're managing you know what I don't love this color I'm gonna switch already I think I just think it's a bit too dark there's quite a lot of color in the water because it's been raining quite heavily so there's a bit of extra water in. I'm just not feeling it, so I'm gonna switch this out and put this on instead. So we've got a Toby. Don't know why they would name a lure Toby, but there you go, they did. Let's give this a go. Well, the hardest thing at the moment is actually the terrain. With all the rain, the mud by the riverbank is so slippery. I'm really trying to not go in some parts. Uh, accessing the river is a bit difficult. 
but we're managing and we're catching fish more importantly which is brilliant i'm going to keep moving down and see if i can find some more good spots where there might be some trout and i've just had a couple of little taps so i'm going to see if i can get this fish on it's probably not looking good <laughs> Well, we've got a little bit of a crowd spectating for the other side of the bank at the moment. So hopefully we can land a trout for them, give them something to look at, hey? Eh? Well, we've hooked into a tiny, tiny one. We'll just flip him out. No need for the net for this one, really. There we go. Tiny trout there. I didn't think he'd even be able to fit that lure in his mouth. Well, he couldn't, but he was having a go anyway. Amazing colours. Absolutely pristine. Let's get this guy back. Well, I really am ringing the changes today. I just feel the loss of my favourite lure, that holographic leak, has uh, just put me all at sea, you know? I don't know, don't know which lure to fish anymore. I was fishing a similar pattern, but a really cheap version of it. And we did land that last fish, so that was a bonus. But it just the action on it is a bit naff, because it's like dirt cheap. I think I got it for free from somewhere, I'm not sure where. Ow. Uh, so I'm going to try this like hot perch pattern now. See if that does anything. So that's what we're going with. Uh, we'll see if this will get us a fish. Well, we're back to driving rain now. Oh, I think I'm right on the edge of this, so hopefully it's going to pass very soon. Although I will definitely be a bit wetter. Today we've had two fish, had one bump and then one follow, so it's not been too bad. I would like another fish, probably only got another maybe hour at the most of fishing and then I'll have to um, head off. We're definitely going to get one more fish though in that time. I've got another couple of good spots to try, so yeah, let's go. Then go and join your sheep friends. Uh, yeah, that's it. Go on. Well, the rain's starting to pick up a little bit, and I'm already heading back up to the to the top and back to the car. There is one or two sections I will fish again, places where I had bumps or follows. That's always worth a second go after a little break, just so you know, let the fish rest and become not so wary. We might be able to catch another couple of trout on the way back. But God, what a day! It's been absolutely crazy with the weather. Um, going from absolutely boiling hot to sleet and rain, a little bit of a thunderstorm at one point. So, um, God, it'd be nice to get home and have a cup of tea, won't it? Well, I'm going to call it a day now. I've worked my way back up to the top and unfortunately didn't have any more fish. It's still been absolutely glorious being out despite a couple of dodgy bits of weather, but you know, it's nice to get on the bank and land a few fish. I'm also sorry it's been a bit trout oriented at the minute, but um, obviously this gets me out onto the river, which is what I enjoy. So hopefully we'll have some other species coming to you very, very soon. But if you have enjoyed this episode, please do all the usual things like hit the thumbs up button, leave a comment down below. And if you really, really enjoyed it, perhaps consider subscribing so you can stay really up to date as I release future videos. Thanks for watching and hope to see See you in the next one.